Thank you. John, you said this month about the UNRWA, you can't hold them accountable for the depredations of Hamas. How about now? Certainly, it, lo it looks as if, Peter, and again, there's an investigation going on, so I'll be careful, but it certainly looks as if uh, there's cause to be concerned about the actions of some of the members of UNRWA, the UN Relief and Works Agency, but that does not, and nor should it, impugn the entire agency and the entire, all the body of work that they're doing. They have helped save literally thousands of lives in, in Gaza. They do important work. Doesn't mean that there aren't some folks in that group that, uh, that need to be punished for potentially these kinds of behavior, but that doesn't impugn the entire organization. That's bad, though. If there are 12 people who are accused... It's bad. It's bad if there's one. <coughs> bad if there's That's one. Bad. And the U.S. is giving them money. How much money? We have suspended. The, they have sus How we much have suspended. before the suspension? I don't have the dollar figures here, right. Peter. I'm, it, I'll take the question and get back to you, well, but we have suspended unallocated funds pending the outcome of the investigation. Who does this White House vet? Because we know that people coming across the southern border are not vetted. Now we know that people that are getting hundreds of millions of dollars of U.S. money are not being vetted. So who do you guys check out? Uh, it's, it's interesting that you're combining the two. The, the the border in this, but let's just let me let me just give me a second. It's not like it's not like we don't have a, a process at the border, and there is a challenge there. And the president does want to get more border patrol agents, but this idea that just there's no vetting and there's no proper immigration enforcement going on at the border just does not does not comport with reality. There's a lot of work needs to be done to get better at that. But that's, put that aside because that has nothing to do, and you know it has nothing to do with well, UNRWA the big and Gaza. What this administration is doing and how it is a UN, resources are being used. It is a UN agency, and yes, we have contributed to their work, and that work has been meaningful, and it has been important in places like Gaza. But we also are willing to hold them accountable for this particular incident and before the alleged behavior by these particular employees. And as I've said, wait, just give me a second now. As I said, we want this investigation to be complete and thorough and transparent. And if, it, if, the, if in the investigation it's determined that people need to be held accountable, then obviously we want to see that too. But up until today, the U.S. policy then has been we don't negotiate with terrorists, but we will give them hundreds of millions of dollars. Come on now, that's, that's conflating here. This is not, you're, you're, that's like saying the whole UNRWA is a terrorist organization. You know, who is a terrorist organization? Hamas, not UNRWA. Now, if they have, if the investigation proves that, in this case, I think it's about a dozen employees were assisting Hamas, and even to the point of maybe even, you know, involved in hostage taking, then absolutely they need to be held to account. And we will, although we've already suspended any additional allocations to UNRWA, we'll certainly consider additional, you know, what, it, depending on the investigation, whether that requires any additional uh, changes in the way we support UNRWA going forward. 